OK, so let's say I need to solve 3 sine x equals 2 cosine squared x between 0 and 360 degrees. Now, this is a quadratic equation again. Uh, I've got this cosine squared this time. Uh, so I cannot do anything with it directly at the moment. I need to go back to that trigonometric identity. Sine squared plus cos squared is 1. Because then what I can do is I can rearrange it this time to get cosine squared as 1 minus sine squared. That allows me to replace the cosine squared with 1 minus sine squared, and I now have a quadratic equation that just involves sine. So expanding the right-hand bracket, like so, I can then rearrange everything, get it all onto the left-hand side of the equation. And so this now is a quadratic that I can either factorise as a quadratic formula, um, or I can, you know, at worst, go onto my calculator, use the quadratic solver. OK? So, this will factorise this one. This is 2 sine x, sine x. OK? So I need that to be plus 2, that to be minus 1, to get the 3 sine x and the minus 2. So either sine x is a half from that bracket, or sine x is minus 2 from that bracket. Now, if we sketch sine between 0 and 360, okay, now sine x is a half, gets me these two solutions here. So if I inverse sine a half, and we're in degrees, okay, oh, sorry, inverse sine of a half, we get 30 degrees, so that's your 30. And this, um, this solution is 30 degrees away from 180, and so that's 150. Now, sine x equals minus 2. Well, minus 2, because that's minus 1 there. Minus 2 will be all the way down here. And so there are no solutions to this equation. And so x equals 30 and x equals 4. 150 are the only two solutions to the original problem.